the crack session musicians called the Wrecking Crew in Los Angeles who played on a lot of hit records that you came to love and know or know and love back in the 60s. And, okay, I'm jumping ahead of myself. At number 12 on 610 WSGN's playlist the week of uh, April the 11th, 1969, it is Glenn Campbell, one of my favorite songs by Glenn Campbell, Galveston. He came, to me, my favorite period for Glenn Campbell was the, in the late 60s when Jimmy Webb wrote his stuff. By the time I get to Phoenix, written by Jimmy Webb, Wichita Lineman, uh, let's see, Where's the Playground, Susie? That was another brilliant record by Glenn Campbell. Here's the thing about Glenn Campbell. Former member of the Wrecking Crew, Session Musicians. Glenn Campbell, before he got really big in the late 60s, he played on Sessions. He played on the session of... Uh, uh, Strangers in the Night by Frank Sinatra. He played on that. Woman, Woman by Gary Puckett and the Union Gap. He's played on sessions with Dean Martin as a session musician, a guitarist. Al DeLore, the guy who produced Galveston. Oh, gosh. Another card-carrying member of the Wrecking Crew. A session musician. Well, well first thing, Al DeLore... He co-wrote the song Mr. Custer. You remember Mr. Custer by Larry Fern back in 1960? He went to number one. And also, he played on Sessions, Pat Sounds by the Beach Boys, their magnum opus. He played Sessions on that. He played Sessions on Will, Phil Spector's Wall of Sound. He played Keyboards. Uh, He's a Rebel by the Crystals. He played that. Sippity Doo Da by Bobby Sox and the Blue Jeans. He also played on Surf Rock. Hey Little Cobra by the, by, uh, the Rip Chords. This is Al DeLore. And now he's producing the heck out of uh, Glenn Campbell. He produced Wichita Lime and all of Glenn Campbell's big hits back in the late 60s. So here we go at number 12 on WSGN's playlist. At, uh, well, number 12. <laughs> I'm getting too excited. Keep repeating myself. This is Glenn Campbell with Galveston. <laughs> 